out of a chance in this game. Spades are already in the ground, as the government would say, but it's under four spades and HS2 in the south. The question of whether it will ever make its way north remains unanswered tonight, creating uncertainty for some homeowners in this part of South Yorkshire about exactly what their futures might hold. And we can talk to Michael Billington now in Mexborough. And Michael, many people quite simply have been left in limbo, as you said. What's the government have to say about this, though? Well, I think it's better to say that they are leaving their options open. Just because they don't plan to build an eastern leg of HS2 right now doesn't mean that a future government won't change its mind and decide to build one, pardon the pun, at some stage further down the tracks. The Department for Transport has told us it's important we safeguard properties until final decisions are taken. We recognise the impact on some residents, which is why our package of compensation schemes goes far beyond what the law requires. So perhaps they are leaving the door open to a Yorkshire version of HS2 at some stage in the future. But given what it's already costing, over £100 billion pounds worth of taxpayers' money, I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. Michael, in expert, thank you. And you're watching Canada. Thanks very much for staying with us tonight. Still to come on the programme, we head out on the road and test some potentially life-saving motorbike gear and we'll find out why the government's being urged to make it available. I see who's on the score sheet. No surprise at all, Kelly. 42 goals last season. He's got his fifth of this season. McCauley Langstaff, well found by David McGoldrick. That's some partnership at this level. McGoldrick to Langstaff. He prods in, and Notts County looking very good now to make it four wins from their four home league games. Notts County 2, Forest Green Rovers nil. Mark Scott, Roy Hodgson is looking pensive on the touchline at Selhurst Park. And I think that's because with a few minutes to go until the break, his side have been second best. Just that speculative Ibera Eza free kick from the edge of the area that was easily saved by Leno. Fulham have had three or four pretty presentable opportunities and have been the more threatening going forward. So I think he'll be delighted if he can get in at the break at nil-nil and then reset and go again. So there has been a couple of red cards in League Two. Taylor Allen for Warsaw and Jay Rich Bamu at Accrington. We're going to check in with Will again now to bring his latest on League One. Yeah, as things stand, Port Vale top of League One thanks to Garrity's goal against Cambridge in that game. The leaders, Portsmouth, as we've heard, being held one all at home by Lincoln City this afternoon. It's currently Charlton one, Wickham Wanderers nil. Miles Lieburn has the addicts ahead. His second of the season. He missed a large part through injury, so Charlton fans happy to have him back. He's the son, by the way, for older viewers of Miles uh, of. Uh, um, What's, what's, what's Miles' dad called? We work with him, Kelly. Carl. Carl Lieber, of course, used to play for, for Charlton many, many moons ago. Blackpool 3 0 up against Reading. Jordan Rhodes with number three there. Leighton Orient leading Shrewsbury by a goal to nil. Bristol Rovers 2, Wigan 1. Charlie White with the equaliser. Jack Hunt put uh, Joe Barton's side ahead in that one. There's a stand. Port Vale top of the pack in League 1. Good team here, aren't we? Very good. I think you, you were talking about yourself, but you still heard me. We weren't just talking amongst ourselves, we were actually looking at some of the chances that we've just seen in the Premier League. Well, there was a really good chance there for Luton Town, of course, after Wolves just going down to 10 men. But before then, let's go to Mark Scott at Selhurst Park Eze, with a brilliant chance for the hosts. Absolutely, Kelly. Yeah, they haven't created much, but nearly took the lead through an absolute beauty. Eze collected it about 25 yards out central area, trademark gliding movement to skip away from some challenges and then bent the low effort just beyond the post. It would have been an absolute peach Fulham coming forwards now, but it comes to nothing. You know that this piece is going to share the two of us, don't you? Yes, sir. Excited about you being here. A well known alumnus and distinguished composer like. 
like yourself? We've met before, Commander. I'm Stella Hall. so-called racing circuit, but overcoming them all is a job for a dedicated expert. And the perfect man for the job, or at least the cheapest, Ooh. is project manager... Oh dear. Oh, it's very good. What do you think? It's evocative, isn't it? It's a nice place. If you listen very, very carefully, you can still hear the sound of Diana Bonato Walker's Bentley reverberating through the trees. Honest. It's a lot steeper than I thought. Problem number one is the historic slope. Because it's very steep. And I can't imagine our car is going to stay on here at all. But I quite like the idea, for historical reasons, that we're up the banking as we come round here. I think you're right. <laughs> so that's one decision made. Our track will be built on the flat. Lorry's squicking it up. 
There are so many obstacles on this so-called racing circuit, but overcoming them all is a job for a dedicated expert. And the perfect man for the job, or at least the cheapest, Ooh. is project manager... Oh dear. Oh, it's very good. What do you think? It's evocative, isn't it? It's a nice place. If you listen very, very carefully, you can still hear the sound of Diana Bonato Walker's Bentley reverberating through the trees. Honest. I can't. It's a lot steeper than I thought. Problem number one is the historic slope. Because it's very steep. And I can't imagine our car is going to stay on here at all. But I quite like the idea, for historical reasons, that we're up the banking as we come around here. <laughs> so that's one decision made. Our track will be built on the flat. I'm very glad to have met this young man. We share a mutual interest. In fact, I'd like to talk further with you. We might learn a great deal from each other, don't you think? About Dunwich, perhaps? Dunwich, Dr. Armitage, might appear to you as just another small town. People of Dunwich are just like everyone else. They're just more honest about it. You see man as a rather dismal creature. Yes. Why not? Look around. You'll see what's there. Fear. And frightened people who kill what they can't understand. It's late. I should be going. Uh, Dr. Armitage, I'd like permission to study the Necronomicon. What reason, Mr. Waitley? Well, I'm a student of the occult. And that book is like a Bible. A rather odious comparison. Uh, no, not really. It's not enough to say the book is irreplaceable? No. You're afraid. Afraid? Possibly. In ancient times, that book was said to unlock the gates to another dimension, to another race of beings. I do not share those beliefs, nor do I fully understand them. However, 